I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Here's three easy steps that you can do to glow up in the next six months. Step one is develop your software. By software, I mean your mind. Think about it like a computer. Your hardware is like the components that a computer has, like your RAM, like your keyboard, your monitor, all of the different components physically, but the software is what operates the computer. And so your mind is your operating system. How do you develop your operating system? First is going to be daily meditations. You need to make sure to do at least five to 20 minutes of daily meditations, focusing in on your ideas and your thoughts, grabbing them, not going down a path, but instead throwing those away. Understand that your thoughts are not what make you who you are. Instead, focus on the things that you need to focus on, which in meditation would be nothing. Then with developing your software, you also need to do gratitude journaling. Gratification and just feeling gratitude is the best emotion that a human being can fall into because they're receiving. When you're in a state of gratitude, you are in a state of receiving, receiving items, receiving gifts, and this puts you in a mindset of abundance, that the world is abundant, that you can have whatever you want instead of that scarcity mindset that so many people fall into. Also, by developing your software, you need to ensure that you are gathering more data, gathering more knowledge. And with this, it's reading books. I read a ton of books. I have a Kindle that I use that helps me a ton, just like focus in on one thing as opposed to like if I'm on the computer and as well, shifting from that into visualization and making sure that you know what your future is going to be. I call it my future truth, the thing that I'm going to complete, no matter what it is going to happen. And is a truth of mine, but it is in the future. And I recognize it and establish those each and every day. Step two to a glow up is making sure that you develop your hardware. We talked about your software, but now let's develop yourself in general. First thing, easiest way that you can do that is changing your hairstyle. How do you do this? Well, the best way to fit your hairstyle is going to be going and searching on Google what your face type is and fitting that style of hair to your face type. Because a lot of people try to do this different random crap like the TikTok hairstyle, whatever. No, do one that's going to fit to your your head. Next is going to be mouth taping. And you're like, wait, wait, what? Wait. Yes, when you go to sleep, like literally put tape on your mouth. And what this does is it allows for your jawline to be more defined because the airways going through na your nasal breathing, going through your nose, allows for that defined look with your jawline, with your facial features all around. And so making sure that you're not a mouth breather and that you're not having just airways going straight through there, taping that mouth and instead doing nasal breathing helps that a ton. I then recommend curating your hygiene products like your shampoos, your body wash, your lotions, whatever it may be, and use this app called EWG Healthy Living. This is going to make sure that all of the chemicals and things that are in shampoos, you're not putting on yourself because a ton of these shampoos have crap. Like if you use Axe, you're wrong, okay? Use this EWG app and find shampoos and conditioners and different body hygiene items that will work well for you. Staying on hygiene, you need to take a shower every single day. Like that's a non-negotiable. You, No one likes someone who stinks and no one like is going to enjoy being around someone who doesn't shower. And so let's be real with that, but make sure that when you shower, that you have a shower head that filters all the crap that's being put on your body. Because what happens is that water that comes from your tap is not beneficial to your skin. Your skin is an organ. And when you're putting that crap water on you, it's harming your skin and it's harming your body overall. And you're not gonna experience that glow up that you want. And so having that filter is going to make sure that you filter out those chemicals and allow for your body to just get normal water to rinse off. Then let's touch on your mouth because your mouth is one of the most important things that people look at when they look at you, like your first impression. That means so much. And if you have a crappy smile and you have yellow teeth, it's not going to be beneficial. So you need to be brushing your teeth very, very regularly. I, I mean, twice a day for sure. One thing when talking about brushing your teeth, you need to brush your tongue. I use a tongue scraper that actually gets all the crap off because your tongue is actually what makes your breath stink. And so if you don't brush your tongue and you brush your teeth, your breath will still stink. Yes, you'll have white teeth, but now no one can get close to you or when you're kissing your girl, like she's not gonna enjoy it. So brush your tongue or buy that tongue scraper and it helps a ton. Next, if you have the means and ability to grow out a beard, I highly recommend that. It just defines a man and allows, like if you are a mouth breather when you're realigning your jaw, it like just kind of hides everything. And so if you're able to grow that, I definitely recommend it. If you're not, then make sure to clean shave. Don't use a razor, instead use a trimmer. This is just gonna make sure that you're not going into those pores and causing acne or things like that to happen. 
then you're obviously gonna need to work out, right? Your muscle and your appearance on the outside is going to help a ton improve your life and make sure that you just like look appealing to the eye. And your aesthetic appearance not only involves your face, but your body as well. And so if you have that defined six pack, yeah, you're gonna be a lot more attractive and have that glow up experience as opposed to being a fat, lazy slob who does not look attractive. And so making sure that you're going to the gym, but not only just going to the gym, doing proper exercises to increase your appearance. And if you don't know what you're doing, I highly recommend getting a personal trainer or someone to help guide you on that path. And if that's like, like, hey, dude, that's way too expensive. I'm not able to do that. Simply click that link down below. That's our community to help you get involved in training and understand what you need to do to go about your training process. Next for step three on your glow up is changing your identity and changing your clothes is going to be the biggest that is going to ensure this identity shift, making sure that you pick a style that you like. Like if you, if you've had clothes for five years, get rid of those clothes. That's not who you are anymore. Instead, shift into a style that you actually enjoy and that you prefer. Don't go out and spend a ton of money buying new crap, new clothes, adding new stuff. No, first get rid of all the old crap. Curate your wardrobe to where you have like five outfits that fit you and slowly get rid of those and add in new things. Go to like thrift shops or Goodwill. Pick up clothes that fit your style. I prefer like old money style, maybe a little bit of like aesthetic athletic lifting style, but pick yours that you like the most, change your identity, and then you'll move into that glow up phase for yourself. My name is Jake Summers. I help men every single day achieve the best version of themselves. And if you liked this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And if you didn't like this video, let me know why so I can help provide better value to you guys. And if you want to see a way that you can increase your hardware, specifically testosterone, your hormones, go ahead and click this video right here.